I have had the privilege and pleasure of knowing Clarence Bickhaus Gaines for 64 years as a classmate, teammate, and friend. We have been through a lot of wars together, but we have remained friends for 64 years. I would like to send my remarks not around B House, but around the family name Gaines. G A I N E S. Gaines had goals. The G was stand for goals. He had goals to be a good Christian, a good family man a good teacher, a good coach, and also, above all, a good human being. The A stands for his achievements. They had been mentioned previously as he received a BS degree from Oregon State University and an MA degree from Columbia University. But his academic achievements were far greater in his teaching and coaching at Winston-Salem State University. The achievements he has performed are many, and they've been mentioned quite well in the literature. But there's some things we don't know about. Big House was the captain of the only undefeated, untied, and unscored upon football team in the history of Morgan State University, and I believe in the CIA, in his junior year. In his senior year, he was the most outstanding member of the undefeated championship CIA basketball team. He was a very modest individual, and he would love it that you know this. Another thing that no one knew about Big House, but very few people, we all remember when Branch Ricky recruited Jackie Robinson to play for the Brooklyn Dodgers, Major League Baseball team. In 1945, when Gaines finished Morgan State, Richard, Ricky had his emissaries to contact Coach Gaines in an effort to start a black professional football team named the Brooklyn Dodgers. That fell through, thus Gaines came to Winston-Salem and started his legacy. His achievements were many yet. Several of his ball players have come NBA professionals Earl Monroe was the Baltimore and New York teams. Cleo Hill was the St. Louis. Carl Green was the Harlem Globetrotters. Oris Hill, who became his first professional ball player with the Harlem Globetrotters. And Earl Webb was the Boston Celtics. His achievements were many more, and they've been well listed, so I will move on to the next letter, his interests, GAI. N E S. His interests were many, but some of them were in photography. In school at Morgan State University, he was a part-time photographer at school. And he did a lot of his work while in Salem. Believe it or not, he was also a part-time trumpet player in school. And occasionally played it in our early years at Western Salem. His other interests were in Boy Scouts, and he liked to play a little poker every now and then. <laughs> that takes care of the half. The M was involved in numbers. We've talked about his numbers. But his greatest number has been married to one wife for 54 years. Having two children 
to love the children and for love their grandchildren. We can talk about the grands, 828 grands. We can talk about all of fame. He's in six halls of fame. But his numbers really aim at his family. So I won't go into the numbers because they are well documented in the obituary. The next letter is E. And E stands for excellence. He achieved all of his goals to be good. Christian, family man, he became an excellent student, an excellent family man, an excellent Christian. So his E stood for excellence. And the S in game stands for summation. It's a summation of a life well spent. And it embodied the four cardinal principles of his beloved fraternity. Manhood, scholarship, perseverance, and uplift. He lived a life of dignity, pride, unselfishness, humility, and love. He loved his family. He loved Winston-Salem State University. He loved Morgan State University. He loved his student athletes. He loved his friends, and above all, he loved God. S stands for summation. And as I said, he has invited all the principles of black worthwhile. And he is a living legend. In closing, I'd like to say goodbye to my friend, Clarence Edward Behouse Gaines. Thank you.